is not an unboxing video because I've already unboxed and shot my Ruger PCC. So I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it because I have several 9mm including a, a Marlin Camp 9 and <clears throat> my thoughts right out of the bat is I love it. What I'm hoping for after looking at all the reviews and people's comments is that Ruger does make this a uh, interchangeable type setup where you can replace the barrel and maybe the uh, uh, bolt carrier face to uh, accept other calibers. So I'm going to open it up and give you a view. I'm sure everybody's seen this this view before and I'll pull it out here um, <clears throat> I ended up going with a 1x6 scope mounted to this which I'll pull out and show you um, chambers open it's safe you know I made it safe before you know, before I left the range and we'll dry fire it in a safe place okay um, so yeah, there it is. I'll get the, the magazine out and all the good stuff that people like to see with these. I went ahead and shot in its configuration from the factory, which was with a Ruger uh, magazine. But this right here is what I can't wait to use because all but maybe two of my 9mm carbines, which I have several, um, like a dozen, uh, all of them use Glock magazines. And there's a couple, the high point, which I love. And this may take the place of fun, fun factor over my high point because Believe it or not, my high point is fun to shoot. Fun. I mean, I got a little red dot on it, and, and it's just fun. Hits everything I aim for. So, uh, one thing that I want to make note of, and maybe it was me or maybe it was just the setup, but I don't think this is going to be very good for a tripod or shooting off of a stand. You know, anything right here. For me, it seemed to change the point of impact. Um, you know, so if you had a bipod mounted either here on your Pictini rail or using the uh, sling mount, you know, just depending on the pressure, you could change the impact. Um, you know, it's not a free floating barrel. And I'm sure a lot of people already know about this, but for those who don't, I'm going to make mention of it. But <clears throat> once I moved my um, shooting rest to here to this point and then I I was holding it also like this instead of out here once I changed it to that point I mean this thing was dead accurate uh, let's just call it grape size I was hitting grapes one shot first shot 25 yards every time so you know, on the rest, holding it like that, whatever you need to do, it worked great. Um, really like it, you know, it's very similar to a 1022, which I love. And I couldn't really think of anything to complain about. I'm going to change this up and swap the charging handle to the other side. Um, I may do something here. I, I wasn't really all that thrilled about having to roll the gun and take out the mag. You know, it's a little awkward, but I guess you could get used to that, you know, and it's not that big a deal. Mag drops out perfect, but I may change to this side and yes, I'd have to move my hand up, but I, I don't mind it just dropping, you know, so. It would just drop. If you're left-handed, that might be perfect. I'm not sure. Um, length of pull was just about right for me. 
so I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, the peep sights were off a little bit. It was shooting uh, to the right and low, um, probably about four inches low and about one inch to the right. So that can all be adjusted and I will do that because I want that to be uh, workable. But anyways, let me show you something that I found interesting. So when I came back from the range, or when I was leaving the range, I picked up as much brass as I could. Um, I reload and, you know, that's kind of important. Oh man, it opened up. Well, all my brass is down in the bottom of my bag now. But here, here's some that I just picked up and threw in the holder to make sure that I wouldn't get mixed up with anything else. Uh, let's see here. It's 10 different cases and I obviously, I'm going to show you, I shot both of these yesterday. Some Monarch and Blazer. Okay. There you go. I don't know if you can tell from there, but I'm going to do a close-up and show you this brass is dirty dirty and i had a lot of blow by let me get this around here so you can see look at that brass it is so stinking dirty i mean it's the dirtiest of any carbine i've ever shot really dirty i mean let me just See if I can rub on one of these. That didn't really help much. Sorry for the bad focusing, but let me just look at that on my hands. Look at that. Imagine that, all of that, and that's only 10 cases. All of that is blowing back. And, but I noticed that a lot of blowback and sparks coming out right here. Um, <clears throat> so that does kind of concern me. I'll have to take this apart. Well, let's just do a swipe test. Oh, mercy. Yeah, that's very dirty. I mean, I did shoot 100 rounds. But I'm going to tell you what, that is dirty. And it's blowback, so I'm expecting it to be dirty, but... I mean, this is... Maybe after this wears in, and maybe I shoot some hotter loads that might expand a little better. <clears throat> but tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think about that. Because um, really, that's the only complaint that I see, that and, and being able to use a bipod. Um, so... Other than that, if you can afford it and you find one and you're into this kind of thing, I'd say get one. It's worth it. Okay, thanks.